Good morning, everyone. I'm Bob Hughes. This morning's insight on a remarkable program in San Francisco called the Recovery Survival Network. Now, this is a program that exists literally at the roughest corner in San Francisco, the corner of 16th Street and Mission, and the man who made it all happen is with me right now, Mr. Lou Gordon. Lou? Hey, hi, Bob. Thank Pleasure you. to be with you this morning. Thanks for having us. What? What, what gave you the ambition to start this program? Where did, where did the idea come from? The idea came from my own desperation to find sobriety. I come from a good family here in San Francisco, and I've had several really successful businesses, successful to the point of, I got to the point of using cocaine and alcohol to the point of destruction, almost literally dying. and. After about 30 years of abusing myself in and out of mental institutions, basically on what they call a 5150 PC, where they hold you for observation, I realized that I no longer had control of my life, and that's a very terrifying experience. I had to go into residential treatment, which was forced on me by the courts. I went into the Walden House in San Francisco in their long-term program, where I really didn't go in there thinking that I was going to get anything out of it. At the end of the day, some of the things that I was you know, forced to look at, I had to take a look at in program, caused me to start really realizing that the problem was very severe. So, by and large, after all that I'd gone through in this uh, recovery situation, I decided that I never wanted to go back in treatment. But then, when I completed the program and I was ready to come out into the real world again, do things my own way, you know something? It wasn't that easy because every corner, blank, beer, wine, every corner, drugs, every kind of ill that I had as a disease was available to me at my you know, fingertips. All I had to do was just leave. So uh, to make a long story short, I decided that there wasn't enough places for addicts other than the 12-step network that you build out there. So that started the wheels turning, not consciously, but I you know, started writing a book. It's called The Recovery Survival Guide. This is a copy of it. Um, I started writing this book, and I didn't realize that I was going to uh, develop a book. I just started writing my feelings, and before I knew it, I had enough to actually make a little booklet. So from that sprung Recovery Survival Network, I realized that there was a lot of other people whom would need the same type of focus and training that I needed to stay sober. So we started the network and that's how we got here. Starting a program though must be an incredibly rough thing because whenever you're dealing with a nonprofit, you still have to go out there and get people to invest in the idea, to help to help back you, to support you. Yeah. And in and in your case, you're you're coming from a background where while you very, very deeply feel the need and the understanding for all this, you're not coming from a background of, of, a, of a professional social worker, per, per se. No. Well, it's like this. The one thing that uh, that's true, but I'll tell you what, it takes one to know one. I know addiction better than anybody because I, I have first-hand experience with it. So I started to realize that that's not necessarily, you don't need a degree in social work, you need a degree in comprehension of addiction. And you need to have a place that people with the same problem can come to and they can talk to someone who truly understands where they're at. We're having a remarkable uh, turnout of people that come to try to talk with us because they know that this program is a grassroots operation. It's not a whole bunch of stuff, shirts, talking stuff that they don't know what they're talking about. It's a whole lot of people who've been there, done that, and they know how devastating of a situation it is to get out of. So that really does make a difference. Put together an organization without a lot of the traditional nonprofit bureaucracy. Oh, man. It's like uh, look, there's some fine organizations in San Francisco and throughout the country. None of them offer the type of services that we're offering here because we're coming from a whole other perspective. 
we don't turn anybody away. We're not funded currently. All of our funding comes from private donations and corporate sponsorships and individual giving. So like where we're at is we don't have to say, well, what city do you live in? We don't have to turn anybody away simply because our donors are people that live all across the you know, uh, entire greater Bay Area. So any person that calls us from any city in these nine Bay Area counties that, can, uh, that needs our help, all I have to do is say, hey, I need some help, and we're there for them.